So I'm going to discuss the Fourier transform of the function cos omega naught t. A couple of things to point out. Uh, t is the time variable and omega naught is a constant. And this is the frequency of the cos wave. So if we plot this in the time domain, and this is time, then a cos wave looks like this. And of course, it's negative time and positive time. And it has a frequency, omega naught. And this is the time domain. And we're wanting to find the Fourier transform. And the Fourier transform is in the frequency domain. And we remind ourselves that the Fourier transform tells us the frequency components that make up a signal. So in this case, the signal is a cos waveform. And in the cos waveform, there is only one frequency component. So we're looking to see and we're expecting to see something over here that only has one frequency component. So let's understand a bit more about why that is. So if I can write xt as 1 on 2 times e to the j omega naught t plus e to the minus j omega naught t, and we know that this is a way to write cos omega naught t uh, from the definition of the complex number and the e to the j omega naught t. And so when we look at this, we can see that there is a half a component with a positive frequency, omega naught, and half a component with a negative frequency, minus omega naught. And this means that this Fourier series are half at 1 and half at minus 1. And we know that for a periodic waveform, the Fourier transform has the following form, so x of j omega, for a periodic signal, the Fourier transform has this formula, k equals minus infinity to infinity of 2 pi times a k, these are the Fourier series coefficients, times delta function at omega minus k times omega naught. And so in this case, omega naught is defined here, uh, and we can see clearly that in xt we only have these two coefficients for a series and so there is only two values in this summation. All the other values of a k are equal to zero. So this is a summation of delta functions located at these points and for k equals 1 and for k equals minus 1 these delta functions exist. All the other delta functions for all the other values of k are multiplied by zero because we are only seeing here for k equals one, one times omega naught and minus one times omega naught. These are the values of k that exist. So when we look up here in our picture, we have a delta function. We're drawing this summation, but there's only two of these delta functions that exist in this summation, all the rest are zero. So we have one at omega naught of height pi because this is two pi here times a half. And we have one at minus omega naught also of height pi. And this is the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t.